Hi. In this video we will look at how to take CAD geometry for a propeller, and modify it for use in CFD. We will be taking a series of cross sections of the prop, modifying the sketch, and then joining the surfaces with the blend tool. To start, copy and paste the top and the bottom faces of the prop, to generate the uppermost, and lowermost surfaces. Create a plane taking a cross section at a point along the length of the prop. Set the distance to be 70 mm from the origin, and create a sketch plane. Go to sketch mode with the plane selected. Select the curve, and then in the sketch toolbar select project to sketch. This takes the selected curve and places it on the active sketch plane. Go back to 3D, and hide the original prop geometry. Select the surface, and go to sketching mode. Make sure snap to grid is disabled. The surface modifications will be to remove the sharp point on the trailing edge of the airfoil cross sections. Sketch a chamfer line around 0.2 mm long, that removes the sharp tail. Fluent meshing cannot generate inflation layers on a point, so for a good quality mesh, slight simplifying geometry changes are required. Go back to 3D mode, select the rear face and delete it. Repeat this process for the entire length of the prop. The more sections that are taken, the closer the CFD prop geometry will be to the original CAD model. The amount removed from the trailing edge, is inversely proportional to the solve time. If a large amount of the trailing edge is removed, then the number of elements required to resolve the trailing edge is reduced, however the geometry becomes less like the original prop. On the flip side, if the chamfer is too small then the number of elements required to capture the trailing edge increases, which increases solve time and it could result in geometry issues due to having small faces. However the smaller the chamfer the more accurately the properties of the original prop are captured. Now that enough surfaces have been created to capture the prop geometry, create a solid using the blend tool. Select the blend tool, and control click the surfaces in descending order. The number of edges, between the sketches should also be consistent. Otherwise a good quality blend could be difficult. Notice how there are two clearly defined faces on the prop surface. In this example the blend tool should only ever generate two faces. If there is faceting or mesh generation problems on the blades, split the leading edge face as well. Use the circular pattern tool to create the symmetry of the prop. For this example, do two blades. Take a section plane normal to the x-axis. Now create the hub, set the radius to 22 mm. Extrude the sketch from both sides with no merge, and set the length to be 18 mm. Use the combine tool to merge the hub to a blade. Repeat the process for the second blade. Now make chamfers on the hub. Do this using the pull tool, and select chamfer. Set the length to be 2 mm for both sides.
the prop geometry is now able to be used in CFD. Thanks for watching.